Hi there, you are going to join me at the Goodwill up in Shillington, Pennsylvania. I walked right in. They have their glass vases in the front of the store now. And this was upside down, and that is why it caught my attention. And then when I put it up top, I saw that it was just an accent votive candle holder. Very, very pretty. I would guess this was probably sold at Home Goods or Marshalls or a place kind of in the home decor store. Very, very nice. And then this was a very pretty hand-painted vase as well. I was looking in the vases just to make sure there wasn't any hidden gem <laughs> amongst the vases. And then I started in on the regular aisles. The last time I was here at Shillington, the shelves were very, very empty. So I was a little bit worried about uh, finding anything this time, but I did find some things. Now, this is a not a quilted Piece. It's kind of a tuck. You can put the pieces in this piece of foam board and you tuck them in there. This was only $1.99. Someone made this, obviously, but I thought it was very pretty. I like the purple on it. I like the elephant, and I thought somebody else who likes elephants or purple might enjoy it as well. Oh, Scotty Dog. Oh, it's heavy. It's a book. Is it a book and it has a chip here? It's uh, resin. It's cute. It's a cute little pie. Looks like it made it into something else. Padam and Company. They made this into a. What is this? Oh, is it a casserole? Is it a whole drill? What is that? I what that's for. $4.99. diaper changing pad that's like a travel diaper changing pad that's very cute I like the style of it and I guess it all folds up that's what that's for now we know I came across this set of candlestick holders or candle holders and they were marked um, Kyle Moore Abbey Ireland on the bottom and my research shows me that they were uh, this pottery was founded by Benedictine nuns at the Kyle Moore Abbey in Ireland and the fuchsia flower is known as tears of God in Gaelic and so a lot of their pottery has the fuchsia flowers on it that is one of the things that I like about this job is the research on why things have it why why the flowers where is this from and because it's interesting it kind of sticks in my brain a little bit longer <laughs> I thought this was very very sweet it was not marked most likely made in China but with Valentine's coming up I thought this was very sweet with the love cut out in it she has no chips or cracks on her wings or her head or the dove, so I decided to put her in my cart. They were actively restocking on the day that I went and it wasn't too crowded, and so I decided to take my time and look at a lot of the things on the shelves. This was a sweet little, at first I thought she was um, riding the unicorn, and then I just realized she was hugging the unicorn. And then I really like this ice bucket. Isn't that pretty with the weave on the bottom of it, the woven look to it? I'm trying to read what it says. It was uh, marked made in Taiwan. So it did, did have some age to it. I thought that was very nicely done. I bet it was a nice set. I bet they probably had glasses that matched, I would guess. And then I came across this pottery and I would say man, man, mahan pottery. I'm trying to like think of how you would pronounce that correctly but I put it on the screen <laughs> so you know what I'm talking about. And I was wondering, why is the lid stuck on this crock? And I wasn't quite sure what it was. I got distracted by this. I cannot stand dried bananas. <laughs> so I, I was telling you, oh, look at how gross this is with the dried bananas. I just don't like the taste of them. But anyway, I digress. Back to the crock. I decided to look this up because I didn't know what this was. It's a lamp. You can see the part in there. This was a lamp what that is it's very heavy that's why I'm not gonna get it because it's heavy even though it's a nice shape $2.99 I guess it hangs on your wall like that it's interesting Lula de Luna oh false craft false craft moons cookie jar for $3.99 he's very cute Snowman. Oh, party light. He has a candle coming out of his head. <laughs> that would look funny. This little teapot. 
and it's marked made in Thailand. I like the pattern on it. I like the blue. It's very pretty. Let's see what this smells like. Clementine, orange, and honey. It doesn't smell that bad. For $2.99. Oh, and I think this is the lid. Looks like that. That's not bad for a candle for $2.99. It's used just a little bit. Candles are expensive now. I might get that for us. I like burning candles. This plate here. This is a pretty plate. Oh, it's heavy. Let's see if the mark there's no mark on the back of it. And some other things in here. Just hiding in here. This clock is very 80s. New Raven Clock Timothy Fox collection of designer clocks. $2.99. I wonder if that style is worth anything because that's very 80s to me. And then I buy this plate here. And this plate is. Again, it's different. This is pretty. Oh, that's pretty for $2.99. A little covered jar. I wonder if this tape will come off on the thing, though. Let's see if I can carefully get that tape off. I don't think a tape is, I don't think the tape is gonna take it off. It is peeling away. I do want to see if there's any chips there. Let me try some more. Well, the good news is the tape didn't take the decal off. But then the bad news is there's a giant chip right there. So I'm going to leave it here. Put the tape off to the side for the next person. That's really sweet though. It's Metlocks. This is cute. There's the daisies on there. That's kind of cute. I like that pattern. Let's see, we have an E and an E. And an S and an A. Cynthia Rowley Marshalls. So they're spelling S E the C. <laughs> it's the C. That spells though. I guess you could sell them individually, but it was at Marshalls for $5.99. So if you needed a sign that says C, there you go. In the mugs. And I see a rainbow mug. These are pretty popular. We have one of these that we use for paints. But these um, sell pretty well. And I'm not, oh, it's a soccer one. A soccer mug. This one's only $1.99. This kind of looked like a Laurel Birch mug, but it's not. It's a uh, coffee mug, coffee liqueur mug. Oh, here, this is a Mary Inglebright one. This is a Teleflora thing for $2.99. Um, it's an oversized pot one. I've sold those before. And we have this one. A whole bunch of, they look like old tattoos on there. Not sure what's going on there. We've got pottery mug, Biz Shine Schaefer. Like it's oh, a student piece, I kind of like bang that down. Sorry about that. Oh, here's a Raggedy Ann. There's a Raggedy Ann mug. Oh, you get two of them for $1.99. You get Raggedy Ann and Andy. Oh, is that Fire King? Oh, it doesn't say. I like those. I like that you get they bundled together. Oh, and these are bundled together too. This mother. Other mom, that's an England one. And the other one says, you're Barry, you're Barry, oh, you're the, you're the very best. You're the very best, and then it says, Molly, Molly, Molly. I kind of like these. This is a different mug here. $1.99, it does have a, something going on on the bottom here. 
say here. Um, sign. That's different. It's like a crackly on the outside. And then here it looks like it says something. That's different. That's a different mug. Hmm. What's this one? Quilted. Goose. Picture's pretty. It's a nice looking picture. Two ninety nine for that. It's a nice one. Oh, it's marked on the inside too. This is cute. The hair. Two ninety nine. What's this one here? $1.99. Hugs are interesting to look at, I think. Made in the fox hunt. Mm -hmm. I like the fox hunt one. This could be a toothbrush holder or a mug. It also has a signature on the bottom. Sradley. Oh, and here's another one that's two, two for one. Hmm. That has a chip right there. That would be dangerous to drink out of. Oh, this one's fine too. Some kind of symbol or something. Pretty. That one. Let's see what else. Oh, here's the Baron Stain Bear one. With no cut soup. Lancaster County. The Dutch Wonderland. And the Railroad. Pretty. I like this one with the flowers on it. That's pretty. It's nice. Put that up there. Oh, and there's another one. You'd have two of those. Oh, nope. There's three. One, two, three. Oh, math. What's this mug? This looks like an owly. That's cute. That looks more contemporary, though. It doesn't look like an old one. Let's stick that back in there. Best teacher ever. In the box. A teapot set. Let's see. Made in Japan. It was originally $3.99 and Goodwill $6.99. Not that bad. $6.99 for that. Let's see. Some stamps. Let's see. What's that over here? What's this? Save for a rainy day. It's Lego Japan. Well, I mute the video for a very boisterous, loud child in the background. I just want to throw it out there that Jimmy and I are thinking of doing a live video on Sunday. I believe it is Sunday, January 29th. Probably this poor goose had a beak accident. Uh, probably around 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Just throwing it out there. If, if you could leave a comment, if you would be interested in seeing Jimmy and me do a live video. I would have to do it on my phone. I'm 95% sure I can do it on my phone. Uh, we have a computer, but we don't have a microphone that uh, is hooked up to the computer. So if we used our computer, you wouldn't be able to hear us. Uh, so I, I, I'm pretty sure I can use my phone. So we've gotten some comments before if we, we people would be interested in us doing lives. And so we thought about that'd be something fun and new to do in the new year. So leave a comment of what you think about that. And if Sunday evening is a good time for all of you to watch us <laughs> fumble around on live TV. 
this was hidden behind something. I moved that Avon box and look at this. It's a beautiful, I believe it's marble. And I actually think that is, Mal uh, let's see, Malachite, the green and Lapis, the blue. And uh, something else was the red, Carnelian, the red. That's a gorgeous frame. Now the, the picture size itself is kind of a small one, but I, I had never seen a frame like that before. So I, I put that in my cart. And then this cardinal, I thought about it because people do like cardinals, but there was something off about it that I uh, left it on the shelf. These are nice. I like those. At least they have more stuff here. Last time we were here, there was nothing on the shelves. So that's crystal too, I bet, because it's heavy. That's the only thing I'm going on. And then look, you have this. You have this very rare vintage <laughs> soy sauce jar for $1.99. Those are pretty. Look like they're all hand painted. It's very pretty. I'm too pretty to work. It's in piece. It still has the sticker on it. It does say 50th anniversary on it though, but it still has a sticker. And the gold has come off here. And it's $2.99. It's nice that they didn't overprice it just because it says Fenton on it. Let's see that right there. Let's go see what that is. What's on it? Oh, it has fish on it. I was not expecting fish. And on this side is hearts. Hmm. That's different. Let me see if the lid comes off. It does come off. I think this is that Wheeland, Wyland, Wheaton, New Jersey. So there's hearts on one side and fish on the other for $2.99. <laughs> the shape of the thing. Hmm. That's different. Over here we have a German Stein. Looks like a fireman. Dedicated to a fireman in Germany. $2.99 for that. Oh, it has a crack. Oh, it has this. Oh, you can't see. It has a crack here. Right there. It's, it's neat though. It has a little wheat design there. I think this real simple, this used to be a magazine. I don't know if they still have that magazine, that real simple magazine. Um, trays here. Blue tray. Ming. Oh, it's from the Ming Dynasty. It's worth a lot of money. Here's a Pennsylvania one. It's a neat shape, oh, and it has kind of like a raised design there. Oh, and this is raised too. Like a record. Made in Japan, $1.99. Huh. That's interesting. And then just a platter. Okay. And then I did like um, these plates here are neat with the shells on them. Brushes, earthenware, made in China. So these are pretty with the cardinal on them and the flowers. Nature's Sing. That one, two. Oh, I think that's all they have. I think there would have been four. There's a kitty cat lamp. Someone that has over here. It's for ten dollars. I wonder if it didn't work. Someone had it over here. Oh, it does work. That's cute. It does work. That's nice. Oh. Maybe that's why they didn't want it, the plug. Oh, well, look, look how much this plug has been used. It's so big. Gotta hold it tight. I'm sure that's safe. It's safe, I'm sure it's fine. I kinda like that. Oh, I hope it's the outlet and not the lamp. See, look, it goes out every time I touch the thing. I think it's the plug. Almost was gonna get it. 
and then I noticed it has a boo-boo on the back here. Why does it have this? Is it supposed to be like that? To let the heat out and so you can change the light bulb? Hmm. I think it's supposed to be like that. And someone just covered it up. Hmm. I wonder if that's old or new. There is a chip to this pedal here. Hmm. If that didn't have a chip there, I would probably get that. The restaurant ware is still here. If there's anything else that's new. More restaurant ware. There are more saucers. They're all saucers. No plates. There's a whole bunch of these. Lynch China. You can buy the bowls in a group for these individually. More restaurant ware. I think this is, I'm going to say Buffalo China? Yes, Buffalo China. So those are, this looks like bread plates or salad plates. A whole bunch of those. I don't want to sell those, so. That is why I'm not going to get them. They look like they're in great shape though, if you collect restaurant wear. He only has one leg left. And um, she is missing her hand. This is a cheese holder or an air fresher. $6.99 though. That's a shame it's $6.99. These you can put your um, baking soda in, like a baking soda keeper. But at $6.99, that's a little bit too high. It's in great shape though. So I'm gonna leave that. It's this pretty. It's blown $1.99. That's a little surprising that they have that for $6.99 because everything else was kind of reasonably priced today. Some Easter basket. Avon, $4.99. That's cute. Looks like he's climbing out. That's cute, they have the whole bunny rabbit, like he's climbing out of the basket with the flowers. That reminds me of that platter we saw at the Effort of Goodwill. It had some chips on it. This is me to look older. It is newer. $2.99 for that. Now, Department 56. Bunny. Hmm. Christmas section. This? That looks like a hobbyist piece too. $4.99. That would be pretty with a candle inside it because they glazed it green on the inside. It does need to be cleaned up though. That's cute. Have these little rocker. That's sweet. It's only $2.99. Debbie's name is on it. That's sweet. It's missing the handles. Co elephants, cute. I bet that would clean up really nicely. That's really sweet. It's just a little, that reminds me of Valentine's. It's kind of coming apart here. Not sure what that's supposed to be. There's a Nickelodeon blanket. So, Jojo Siwa. I didn't find any praying hands on this trip to Goodwill, but I did find an egg-tastic, so that's one point for me. <laughs> this is going to wrap up our trip here to Goodwill. Coming up next is everything that I picked up on this trip. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for your support of my channel by leaving a comment or hitting the thumbs up if you like this video. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see ya!